Why are you asking? Because the Bible says, you know, I know the scriptures. So the Bible says that Jesus became a curse for us, right? In Galatians chapter 3. Curse is every man who hangs on a tree. So you're saying that we curse right now, right? Right. Yes, we are. But it, but it said that Jesus became a curse for us, right? So let me explain what that means. When you read Galatians. You mind yeah, what happened? You mind if I record? No, that's all right. If you want to, they'll expound upon it more, but I'll just explain it. Just simply. When Christ was a curse for us, he suffered because why? We went through the curses as a, as a nation. So what? He died for our sins as a people. So when he died, what? His sins. He, he helped us we get grace so what we can keep the commandments and what we can obtain him with talent. but when he died for us now what we can keep the commandments without what the law of sacrifice so these things go precept upon precept line upon line in the old testament and the new testament that's what he came to accomplish the that, old testament says no man can die for our sins correct you said the old testament it says no man can die for our when sins when you read isaiah 51 and even 53 it tells you that christ will come and he will die for us so that's our that stuff with our nation. What so, does it say to that in Isaiah 51? I think Isaiah 53. I'm sure it's in the head, but Isaiah 53. Yeah, it said it say Jesus came. He said he would die. He would be oppressed. He specifically he identified Jesus is what I'm asking. Yes, because he fulfilled those things, which he explains in Luke 24 and verse uh, 44. So he fulfilled everything. No. Certain things still haven't been fulfilled yet. But as far as Christ dying <laughs> on the cross, as far How as Christ can he dying say, on the cross. Well, think about this. How can he say it is finished? Right? He didn't finish everything, right? Certain things still have to be fulfilled. But yeah, he didn't finish everything. But, brother, if you want to go across the street, if you want to go across the street and speak to our elder, he's willing to expound upon it. I'm only a soldier. There's only so much I can do. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm like, just going I, like, over real quick. I like getting like one on one. I don't like the groups and. He got a microphone and he over talking people. I like to do my stuff one on one. Hey, you know if you come up there respectfully, he'll, he'll help. He said, I'm only a soldier. There's only so much I can I can tell you. I can explain it, but we're only doing so much. Yeah. I'm just asking you according to the scriptures, though. I mean, you should know the scriptures, right? Yeah, but he's going to expound me, right? So if you have any more questions, just go to go across the street and speak to the captain. And just go, go speak to the captain. So I can't give it to you, but he's more season sign to do that. That's why the camp is over. So if you Man, go, why should I go over there? I got you over here, right here. Why should I go over there? I'm a but you know the scriptures though, right? So yes. I'm saying, but I should be. I'm, I'm only allowed to eat so much. He's right over there. I'm telling you, this is where my job is. Me and my brother are supposed to be here handing out flowers. go across the street. He's going to. But the Bible say, be ready to give an answer. You know, but I hope that's in you. So I mean, you gotta be ready to do that. You're right, you're right. Go across the street, and they'll, they'll tell you. I guarantee you, they'll let you record. No, I'm saying the reason I'm stopping here with you. If you can't answer what I'm asking, I mean, why should I go over there? Because they have the, they're allowed to teach. They can teach you. They have the Bible right now. The Bible say we don't need no man to teach us anything. That's not true. First John chapter two. We all need to. And that's why he's over there. And that's right here. This is only for me to. But Jesus said we have one teacher, right? Over there. He's going to teach you. <laughs> I'm telling you what Jesus said. I ain't telling you what he's saying over there. Over there and talk to them. Yeah. My leaders can go over there and speak to them. Yeah, I'm talking about what Christ said. Yeah. They have the Bible open. They're preaching Christ. <laughs> over there. He's trying to push me over there. That's why they're there. So, can at least do so what was what was your point? So what question did you have? For the what question did I ask? No, actually, a lady asked, like, what if there are multiple gods? Like, there are multiple. See, that's gods. another thing. It's multiple and gods in the Bible, actually. There are multiple that's, gods in the Bible. That's what Elohim mean. It means a plurality of God. It mean more than one. Well, there's Let us God, make God in Jesus, our image, man in our image. The Holy Spirit, but that doesn't mean like Buddha. Um, I can't think of them all at the top of my head. Krishna, but, Buddha. But that doesn't. Mean, but that just defeats the title of God. Doesn't one true God. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't that defeat the title? It's like if one kingdom had ten hundred kings. <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> 
Why would there be a kingdom of God and then there's like a hundred gods? Which God is the true God? How do we know which God is the true God? The Bible. Christian. But men wrote that. God didn't write the Bible. So it was... And it's man's version of God. Think, people think that, but if you look at history and you look at what's going on, there are actually multiple men who wrote in different forms, different languages, different countries, the same thing. And just remix the story, they retelling the story, giving their own version of it. You know what, maybe so, but there's too much truth in the Bible of what has happened and what is to come and what is being prophesied now. So, I'm not going to, and let me just ask you one thing. Why is it that the Bible is the only religious book ever torn, burned, stomped? Why don't we do that with the Quran? Why don't we do that with other religious entities? Why? But, but you know how it became the most dominant religion? Through Constantine. Becoming the most through dominant violence. religion. Why are we not stomping on the Quran? Yeah, you heard of the Crusades? Well, yeah, they, yeah. they was and killing people doing, if they didn't believe in, in Christianity. So, and I mean, now they're doing that with the Muslims over in yeah. the Middle East. Why are we not stumping on those? Yeah, that's a good question. That's all I'm going to say on that. And look, I would like to talk with you more. I'm sure you're a great dude, but I really do have to give it to you. All right, my man. Have a good one. And look, God bless, okay? Uh -oh.